Ever since the concept of game engine was introduced to the public, Unity and Unreal have been battling for the number one position in that category. And every beginner who is looking to start learning game development has asked themselves which game engine is better and which one should I choose? Even experienced game developers find themselves using one game engine and after some time they switch to another game engine. So who is the king of all game engines? Unity or Unreal? And which one should you choose? If you are into 3D games like the Splinter Cell series, XCOM and Final Fantasy, then Unreal is probably your best choice. Unreal is a great foundation for creating next generation physics and graphics. A very good aspect of the engine is its quality execution of dynamic lighting to really immerse you in a virtual world. For these purposes, it really has become an industry standard, winning tons of awards from gaming publications. Unreal shows no sign of stopping, being used in Darksiders 3, Fortnite, and even the latest Gears of War game, Gears 5. Using the engine software is much simpler than you think. You can use a blueprint without coding, something that is a daunting aspect of the finer details of game development. So if you are attracted to heavy hitting genre titles such as these, I would say Unreal 4 would be the best avenue to take. Unreal supports about 10 or so platforms across gaming as well. On the other hand, Unity is also a very versatile engine and it's the go-to engine for mobile developers. Whereas Unreal 4 caters to more expensive AAA titles, Unity can handle its own share of the workload. A lot of top mobile games were created in Unity. One of those games is Temple Run and we all know how well made that game was. If you are a developer that wants to cater to mobile or flash gamers, then I would suggest Unity out of the two. If you are gravitating towards more puzzle-based or 2D games, I believe Unity would serve you the best. Unity includes a user interface and tools that are very accessible to people who perhaps aren't as well versed in game design. It can be a valuable stepping stone to a more complicated engine or your perfect niche if you're developing something simple and not sinking millions of dollars into it. Unity has a great cross-platform base and is accessible in over 25 different platforms. The accessibility alone should be attractive to those with an open goal of game design. One of the most important aspects of any game engine is its community. This is important because if there is a huge community supporting the engine, then you will find a lot of tips, tricks, optimization techniques, and most importantly, answers to your questions when you get stuck. When it comes to Unity and Unreal, both engines have active community members. The way in which normal people can access both engines allows for a robust community of users and creators to engage and talk about games and the engines themselves. But out of the two engines, which has the bigger community? Unreal has a very active community and it's no surprise. If you were one of the premier game engines, you'd have hundreds of thousands of fans and forum users. Primarily, the official Unreal Engine forum at forums.unrealengine.com is the home of all things Unreal Engine. If you do a deep dive, you will see the forum is hopping with a hub of people posting multiple times per hour. I personally love the constant activity because that equals more creative forces at work. They offer many different forums like the Marketplace, Unreal Beta, Events, Content Creation, Animation, Rendering, Blueprint Visual Scripting, Scripting, and so on. So there is no shortage of places you can go to talk about the engine itself and bounce ideas off of countless community members. Unity, likewise, has a great resource in the form of its community. Just when I think one engine has an edge, the other one tugs its way back, showing the amazing features it has. It's so hard to choose. Their forum includes many of the same aspects between the two engines. Again, I love the sheer number of community members that can talk about extremely specific ideas 
like their ideas on game creation and shared their renderings for constructive criticism. Luckily for either choice, both communities are massive. I truly couldn't say which one was bigger than the other. And what a good thing that is. Users can truly feel at home with fellow creative types and always have a constantly updated forum to visit during their development periods. Now, let's talk about pricing. As you are aware, a lot of the time, effort and money is invested into making these game engines what they are today. So it's normal that they are charging when you want to use them. Now, which engine should you choose depends on your financial situation. Are you able to spend freely while developing? Or are you conservative with your funds? Because the engine's price could sway your decision-making process. Unity is completely free, and I'm surprised it's free for the quality you can make with it. Of course, you can pay a lot of cash for the Unity Pro version, which will run upwards of $1,500 for a one-time purchase of the program. Or you can use the Pro version month to month for a subscription of $75 a month. If you are on a strict budget and your project is small enough, you could really get away with a reduced price through the monthly subscriptions. Or you could also take your chances with the free version, which is a great quality in its own right. I noticed many users online recommend the free version to the first-time developers. And I believe that's the smart move in this case. The important thing is that you have many options and you're not backed into a corner to choose a version. Another positive thing for those on a tighter budget, you don't owe royalties to Unity at all. Now, regarding the price of Unreal 4, I almost couldn't believe it. There are no different versions, price-wise. It's free. Also, another fun aspect is that schools get it for free as well, encouraging more computer software developing with students, opening students up to the world of game design, which could be a great thing for the industry. You could spend late nights on campus making the next bit game idea and fleshing it out beautifully in the free Unreal 4 engine on your laptop. It almost seems too good to be true. Professors could teach an entire class using Unreal 4. Wouldn't that be Unreal? Sorry, I had to. But yes, it's completely free, but with some caveats. You would owe royalties to Unreal from your published game. I have to say, aside from graphics, this is a time where Unreal 4, in my opinion, really comes out on top here. Although Unity Free is still great, the fact that the overwhelming power of Unreal Engine 4 is free everywhere, even with the royalties, is seriously tempting. Overall, I would give Unreal Engine 4 the edge here, just for the power you get for free is almost criminal. The royalties, although not ideal, is really a small price to pay for the power you receive through the program. Now, let's talk about the scariest part of every engine, which is scripting. Well, most people think that's the scariest part of creating a game, but actually coding, like anything else, requires a little practice and you will understand all the bits and pieces of it. Now, in Unreal Engine, you have two ways how you can code your game. The traditional code typing way, and it also has a visual way of writing code, called Blueprints. If you are a beginner and you don't want to learn how to code right away, then start with Unreal Engine and first learn how to use Blueprints and then move to writing code with C++. When you learn how Blueprints work, then it will be easy for you to transfer that knowledge to written code. And this is an advantage that Unreal Engine has over Unity. And yes, Unity has its own visual scripting mode but that's still in development and they just recently introduced it to the public. Whereas Unreal Engine Blueprints have been around for some time and they are stable to use and Epic Games is updating them on a regular basis. As I already mentioned above, Unity also has its own visual scripting language, but it's still in development and even they don't recommend that you develop your game using solely the visual language because it's still not stable. So it will take some time until Unity rolls out a stable release of their version of visual language. 
When it comes to traditional code writing, Unity uses C Sharp. The difference between C++, which is the language that Unreal Engine uses, and C Sharp is that C Sharp is easier for beginners, but C++ is faster and more optimized for game development. So if you want to code your games, then I would suggest that you start with C Sharp because it will be easier to learn. Another important aspect of both game engines, which is not directly connected to the engines itself, is their asset store. The asset store is like a market where you can buy assets, scripts, templates, and so on. And I know someone will probably say, but I want to create my game all on my own and I don't want to buy other assets or scripts. And I applaud that. But creating a game takes time and you can use all the shortcuts you can get. Especially when it comes to things that are already created like character movement and similar things where you don't need to reinvent the wheel, instead you can just buy a ready asset. When it comes to Unity's and Unreal Engine's asset store, both stores are great and they contain a ton of resources that you can use to create your game. But the Unity asset store kills it when it comes to all asset stores. The sheer number of assets you can download to use in your project is unmatched and this will definitely make your life as a game developer much easier. When it comes to graphics, Unreal Engine shines like no other. I would challenge anyone to look at many Unreal Engine 4 games and not be absolutely floored by the capabilities of some of the titles that utilize the engine. It's the staple of the next generation era of consoles. And that's why for many big studios, Unreal Engine 4's graphical quality is their preferred choice when deciding on graphical power. In the game called Thief Deadly Shadows, you play as Garrett, the best thief on this side of the town. You can actually feel like you are a part of the beautifully rendered shadows and it would fully immerse you in becoming the master of the night. Someone who walks in like a shadow and pickpockets the coin purse from an unsuspecting guard while he's on patrol. Unreal made that possible. That game was created in 2004 and if you play it today, after 16 years, you would still be greatly impressed by the dynamic lighting and graphical models of the environment and the characters. It really has a lasting impact and many Unreal Engine titles can unbelievably hold up after more than a decade. Unity is nothing to ignore, however. There are also beautiful games created in Unity like Wasteland 2, Rust and many others. Unity is also constantly working on its graphical capabilities, improving them with every new release that they put out. But I do feel that Unreal Engine has the more heavy hitting graphical power over Unity. So if graphics is what you are after, then go with Unreal Engine. Now all these features that we talked about raise the question which game engine is easier to use. When it comes to creating a commercial game, unfortunately, I wish I could give you a straight answer. It's entirely up to you, the developer, about how you want to develop your game. Both engines are some of the best ones out there, so either one you choose won't be a mistake. But it really comes down to a personal preference and the specific game you're making. I would say games with bigger budgets and more nonced insanely detailed 3D environments should go with Unreal Engine. If you are a developer interested in either 2D side-scrollers or mobile games primarily, I would absolutely choose Unity. But again, they can be interchargeable depending on the skills of the developer. Both engines are thankfully powerful graphically in their own right, and both have great communities to either help or bounce ideas off. On the other hand, if you are a complete beginner looking to learn game development, then I would definitely start with Unity and then move on to Unreal Engine. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, comment and share the video so that others can see it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. 
I have some links down in the description that will help you learn game development and learn how to optimize your games, so make sure to check them out. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.